Wondering what a nofollow link is and how you can use it to improve your search engine optimization? Well, stick around and we'll show you how. Be sure to check out the links we've left in the description, hit the subscribe button and notification bell, and be part of the conversation. Nofollow links are a crucial part of SEO. Use them correctly and you'll boost your search rankings. That's why it's essential to know when to use them and when not to use nofollow links on your site. Links are an essential part of SEO, and that's how Google and other search engines find new content and then use it to rank web pages. But sometimes you don't want search engines to follow a particular link. Now that's where a nofollow link comes in handy. These are links that have a nofollow tag. Now you'll notice R-E-L at the beginning of each of these, and that's merely short for relation. When you add a nofollow tag to your link, it tells search engines to ignore the link and not use it when indexing pages. Nofollow links will have no impact on your rankings. That's because what you're telling Google won't pass through the page rank. That's a way to measure the importance of a page. And that means the search engine will not count the link as a vote to vouch for that page. Now, if you're wondering what a nofollow link looks like, here's what a normal link looks like in plain HTML. But when you add a nofollow tag, it looks like this. Besides a simple nofollow tag, did you know that Google introduced even more tags? Well, let's take a quick look at the differences. In 2019, Google introduced new link attributes for sponsored and user-generated content, or UGC, links. Now, these new attributes still tell Google to ignore the link when using them to rank a page, but they provide more information to the search engine to better understand the link. So here's a quick look at the differences between each of these. Sponsored is a nofollow tag that indicates you're being paid to promote it, or the links are for advertisements. UGC is a nofollow tag for user-generated content, like comments and forum posts, so using a UGC tag prevents people from trying to take advantage and submitting spammy links to your site. Then there's the nofollow. You can use a standard nofollow tag when the other two don't apply, and you don't want Google to give the URL any of your SEO juice. All right, now let's see why it's essential to use the nofollow link. To put it simply, you can improve your website's SEO by including a nofollow link on your posts and pages. So you can use nofollow links on your site for at least four reasons. First, you'll avoid looking spammy. So if you're using the same link multiple times on a page, you'll want to make one of those a do follow and the other a nofollow link. Second, you can use a nofollow link to indicate you're being paid. So you're telling Google that you're being paid to promote a link or if the link is for an advertisement. If you don't and you mark such links as do follow, then Google will penalize your site and it could hurt your rankings and domain authority. Third, to prevent spam. Spam can cause a lot of problems on your comments and forums, so the UGC no follow link is the best way to encourage meaningful interactions on your website's comments. And last, if you don't want to share SEO benefits, so you can use a no follow link to tell Google you don't want to share your juice. For example, you would want to use links to a competitor's site, sources that haven't been verified, or those that aren't related to your industry. All right, now we'll show you how to add nofollow links in your posts and pages on WordPress. The easiest way to add nofollow links in WordPress is by using an SEO plugin like All-in-One SEO. Using All-in-One SEO, you don't need to edit any coding or add nofollow links to your content. Now to start, install the all-in-one SEO plugin on your site and you'll see an option in your WordPress editor to add nofollow links to your pages and posts. Now once the plugin is active on your site, just go to any post and edit it. If you're using the classic editor, then highlight the text that you'd like to link and click the insert link symbol from the navigation bar. Next, click the gear icon. Now you'll see a small window open where you'll find options for your title, link text, and the checkboxes for adding a nofollow link. Now you can choose between a regular nofollow link, sponsored, and UGC. Once you've added the title and checked your nofollow link option, click Add Link. Now if you're adding the block editor, just highlight the text that you'd like to link and click the link icon. Now you'll see options to add nofollow, sponsored, and UGC links. Now all you need to do is update or publish your post and your nofollow links will start to work on your WordPress site. So after you do that, how do you know which nofollow links are getting the most clicks? Well, we're glad you asked that question. When it comes to tracking different links on your WordPress site, you'd have to go through the hassle of editing code or manually setting up tracking in Google Analytics. 
But the easiest way of finding out the number of clicks each link gets is through Monster Insights. Now, hands down, Monster Insights is the best Google Analytics WordPress plugin. You can set up tracking and see Google Analytics reports right inside your WordPress dashboard without touching a line of code. All you have to do is install the plugin on your site and connect it with Google Analytics using its setup wizard. We'll leave a link in the description on how you can do that. And then you'll see the number of clicks your nofollow link gets. So for instance, if you have any external links with a nofollow tag, you can view the top outbound links report and find out each link's total clicks. You can visit the link in the description to learn how to set up outbound link tracking in WordPress. And Monster Insights will automatically detect and track your affiliate links without editing code or setting up tracking manually. Now to view your reports in Monster Insights, all you have to do is go to your WordPress site, head over to your admin sidebar, then hover your mouse over Insights, then click Reports, and then click on Publishers. Now from there, you can view the top affiliate links report. Besides outbound links and affiliate links, Monster Insights also helps track other types of link clicks. For instance, you can easily track file downloads, call to action button clicks, form submission button clicks, telephone and mail to links, banner ads, and more. For more information about this, you can visit the link in the description to view our detailed guide on tracking link clicks in Google Analytics. And that's it. We hope that this video has helped you to understand nofollow links and how to use them on your site. Now to get a special discount on Monster Insights, check out the link in the description. And to learn more Monster Insights tips, tricks, and techniques, just click one of the videos on your screen now.